Hello and welcome to my alternate office. I am Lucid Dawn and happy to be here with you today alive and healthy and well on this afternoon in late September hanging out in my car on the street waiting to go teach a class. It's Navaratri today, one of the nine nights of the goddess as we watch as the dark moon begins to curve a little smile at us out of the sky and how that smile slowly grows into a big bowl of fullness and ultimately into a big belly of fullness, a big face of fullness. However you want to look at that, praising up the goddess, the feminine in yourself, in your life, in the sky, in the world. It's definitely a time of revealing of that feminine energy as it's also a time of upheaval politically and with the weather. If you're safe right now, how lucky we are. I am feeling so lucky these days to be, just to be safe, just those basic human needs covered. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As I watch and listen around the world to all these news stories of floods and hurricanes and earthquakes and praying for those people, may they be safe, may they be free from harm, may people pull together in times of challenge and not get sucked in by the fear that can happen of not enough when we are without our basic needs. May we know that we all ultimately are cared for and that there is enough in this world for everyone and if we can approach the world with that way, if we can ripple that out, then more and more people will and will live in that truth more and more. So that's my prayer. And again, so grateful just to be alive today and to be safe today. And so grateful for my practice. Grateful to have a practice or a plethora of practices under the umbrella of yoga and other indigenous practices as well with ritual and ceremony and uh, Native American ways or Wiccan ways um, to honor this world, this earth, this mother earth that we're in and this body that we're in and the ways to be with that and to celebrate that. <sighs> because really being with ourselves and really celebrating our own being, connection, integrity, again, it's going to ripple that out. And when we have practices that, that keep us mindful of our breath, that keep us steady in our center, that make us physically strong and flexible, and that, you know, again, keep our minds flexible so that we are not stuck on things being one way, because certainly that's not what's up right now. <laughs> Very rapid uh, movements of energy and weather patterns and all of it. So we must cultivate the center we must keep coming back to the center, to breathfulness, to strengthening, to movement, to allowing ourselves pause, to listen, to sit in the sweetness, the spaciousness, or to sit with a clamor of thoughts and ideas and concerns and to-do lists and not get attached and not feel anxious or freak out and not jump up and do something, but allow ourselves to witness this turbulence of the mind and to hold steady. And when we can do that within ourselves and we can hold ourselves steady in witness of the turbulence of the mind because it's probably one of the biggest fiercest places on earth <laughs> for each of us is our own minds 
uh, if we can really do that, then it does get easier in the physical world to be present with people or situations that are calamitous. And breathe. And know that things are going to be okay. And reach a hand out to ask or offer help, depending on what you need or have in each moment. How do we get to have that steadiness? One day at a time. One breath at a time. One practice at a time. And for me, it was years before I could even apply that to a bigger picture because I couldn't yet see myself as part of a bigger picture. There was this extraction of me dealing with the world on my own and dealing with my mind on my own and me separate from nature and separate from divine. And now, through many years of practicing yoga, thank goodness, most always I'm very clear with being absolutely connected to nature, absolutely connected to the divine. So my practices are to go out in nature and hugging trees is a really good thing actually it works it can be so grounding I did it recently on a big strong hike and wow yeah so grounding also just sometimes just touching the earth taking your feet your shoes off letting your feet touch the earth opening your arms to the sky and really welcoming that spacious of sky down into you and breathing in that sky and remembering this body as part of this earth whole and perfect and beautiful and blessed and feel what you may identify with as yourself as this beautiful channel for energy between the earth and the sky the finite and the infinite the known and the unknown the mundane and the divine. That's one of my favorite bestest practices. And the other is welcoming that the images of the divine into my mind and remembering myself as this. Again, I, I grew up in a, um, going to Catholic church and there is this feeling that God was something outside of me that was supposed to do something for me and why wasn't he and how could he let these things happen? And that I didn't find very empowering, you know, waiting or wanting something else to make something happen. With this practice of yoga, especially Tantra yoga, and really welcoming the divine in to my embodiment, remembering myself as part of the divine, remembering each breath as a kiss of the divine to my heart, to my life force, to this embodiment, to this unique experience. Yeah, that's where it's at. To begin to feel that sweet flowing energy of breath, of song, of movement as a gift of the goddess, as the goddess herself moving through me as me. This practice of really being, living, divine, goddess, energy. Wow, how that can change the game. I'm not waiting for anyone to save me. I'm not begging for anyone to save me or forgive me. I am knowing myself as an embodiment, an experience of divine energy, being human, and allowing it to be sweet, to let the sweetness move through me, to experience the divine, experiencing human emotion, suffering, tragedy, confusion, without getting caught up in it. What's wrong with me? Like I did for years, because there's just so much wrong with me, I thought. Now, gracefully, gratefully, I may still do things wrong. I still may show up wrong, but so it is. So it is. I am here to play. 
I'm here to discover and to succeed and to fail as part of that success and to succeed as part of my failure, you know, each failure in its own way is a success. I tried that, I did that, <laughs> did that. And next, so what's next? So I welcome you into this play for yourself because you know, like Shakespeare has said, and like the Tantra say, we are but actors in this play of divine. We are consciousness manifest in this world to see what it is to be each of us in each moment together in this time. Consciousness is an actor, Durshyam Sariram, one of my favorite quick little Tantras. Just that reminder, consciousness wants to know itself, all aspects of itself. So it is contracted right now to be this lucid dawn part of itself and see what that's like. And so me as consciousness, contracted, feel moments of expansion, of remembering that that spaciousness, that divine is my nature, and then also feeling that contraction, the struggle, the learning, the wondering, the seeking as my human nature, as consciousness looking to see, oh, and what else can Lucid Dawn be? What else can I play with? What else can I know about myself or this experience of embodiment or this time, this life that I'm in, or who I am in reflection to others? What am I getting back from them? Who I am in relationship to you? How do I see you? What parts of myself are you reflecting for me? What parts of you am I reflecting for you? Who are we together as facets of consciousness? This one great jewel of being, seeing itself from all those facets. It's fascinating and so exciting and yay for life and during these days of Navaratri or whatever day it is I invite you to look up at that moon and see yourself I invite you to look at the abundance of this harvest season and see yourself I invite you to look at me and see yourself <laughs> however you'd like to we are all in this together in Lakesh <sighs> day. I see you. I see the light in you. I honor that divine in you. And now let's go play. <laughs> <laughs>